You're welcome. Love you guys. Get it all put away? All set to go? No, I didn't. Okay. The closet was locked. It's in the kitchen. So every Sunday is an opportunity. There are people who are walking into our church building and they're all looking for something. And some people have just moved here and they're looking for a church home. Some people have lived here for a long time and they've just felt disconnected from God and they're trying us out. And so we have a chance every single day to allow people, strangers who walk in our door, to allow them to become part of our family. And some of them, they come and they enjoy the services and then for whatever reason they don't come back. Some people love the services, they come back week after week, but they just come in and they leave before the service is over and they don't really talk to anybody. And so one of the things that I really try to do as the Connections Pastor is ensure that every single person has, is talked to in some way, that we know their name, that we know where they're from and know something about them, and then we invite them into community. God brought us through a difficult patch uh, when we came to CCC. For the last seven years, it's been a healing process. The healing process of trusting God, trusting in the gospel, and getting deeper in community. One of the things that we really needed as a family was, uh, and especially for my wife, for Tracy, uh, was for her to feel known, for people to know her story and to love her, and then for her to be able to love others. And we found that at CCC, and now we have a chance to do that with others. God opened up the door for us to move into celebration. And as a result of that, it opened up a brand new opportunity for us, which is to invite people into family, into community. And so when I'm talking to people after a service, I'm inviting them. Hey, do you have plans for lunch? Usually they don't. And invite them over to our house. We live just about a mile away. And so we never know who is going to be at the house until they show up on Sunday after the 11 a.m. service. I'm Paul. I'm Tracy. And we do Random, Random Sunday, Sunday Lunch. I love Random Sunday Lunch because it's random. So I usually stay home and cook up some taco meat and cut up some tomatoes. I have a couple behind the scenes helpers. And then people start ringing my doorbell and I have no idea who they are. That's my favorite part. <laughs> One of the things that we do with Random Sunday Lunch is tacos. So we learned this from Taco Tuesday. It's quick, it's easy, it's relatively cheap. Mm -hmm. We go to Aldi and we shop and we just get the basics that we need. And we figure out that it costs about $36 uh, to do a Random Sunday Lunch. And if the three of us as a family go out and get something to eat, typically we'll be spending more than that. Some of the things I guess that are my favorite are the connections that are happening. Um, not even to do with Paul and I, just for people sitting down around our living room and in our couches and chairs and sharing how they got to Celebration Community Church or how they got to town. And then discussing things they have in common, like where they're from or where they went to college and laughing. Uh, just making connections. Random Sunday lunches show love to the stranger by just making people feel loved and welcome. So you can't help but come in the house and there's just a lot of people and nobody knows each other so there's no clicks. So everyone is new, asking questions, getting to know each other. So that is one of my favorite things. And our neighbors came today. Uh, so we made a wonderful connection with them. Uh, they met some new people and uh, actually my neighbor, she's gonna come help on the next random Sunday lunch. The hardest part of getting this started was just deciding exactly what to do and so we decided it was best to do the first and third Sundays of the month after the 11 a.m. service and we figured that we could get enough people uh, to come over and do that. If you are willing to open up your home or organize something at a park, I know that there are other people that would love to be a part of that. So part of us starting this was a decision for our family, but I knew God would provide somebody to help clean my bathroom and to cook the meat like I knew God would provide those things so if you are interested in hosting something in your house there are people in your neighborhood that will help you to bring your neighbors in and to love on them and to show hospitality everybody has a role so join us on the first and third Sunday of every month we have people over we're not sure who's coming but I promise you'll make a connection that you'll get to love on someone and you can come and help behind the scenes if you'd like or if you'd like to be out front greeting 
and serving that way, we would love to have you. Looking forward to having you as part of whatever Random. it is that we do. What do we do? Random, Random Sunday, Sunday lunch. lunch.